Hi friends, happy Halloween or Halloween week. I hope you're all feeling the perfect balance of cozy and whimsical and spooky at the moment. And if you're watching this at another time of year, that's totally fine. I hope you're also experiencing the perfect balance of cozy and whimsical and spooky. Does the strand of hair look really dumb poking out? It's fine. Today, I'm just gonna play dress up with my most cozy, whimsical clothing and put together some witchy outfits. I even slightly changed my decor back here to fit the vibes more for this video. Honestly, I'm having kind of an intense period right now and I'm just not feeling my best at the moment. So I'm thinking this will be more of a cozy, casual video and I hope you still enjoy. Thanks so much for being here, even when I'm not at my peak of energy. I hope you're enjoying the season. Let's get into it. Okay, the first outfit I actually just wore the other day to a little fall market and I am just in love with it and I wanted to show you. So let me walk you through it. The outfit actually sort of started with this purple cardigan, just the most perfect cozy autumnal yet slightly witchy vibe. Hold on a second. And I thought it would pair great with this top that I just dyed in a recent DIY video for this like very subtle pattern on pattern blending purples moment. The neckline adds some really cool texture. And then on the bottom, this skirt brings in like a solid earthy tone to mute everything down a bit, but the shininess and the shape of it still adds so much whimsy and texture and movement. Then on top, I added this hair bandana. I feel like these just always have sort of an earthy, rustic, witchy vibe. I wore it more headband style, but I didn't want to like mess up my whole makeup. So I'm just laying it on top of my hair. I also added my star earrings, duh. Then the piece de resistance, these orange pointy toe leather boots that I just finally got repaired. Prepare to be so sick of me in these boots because I cannot stop styling them now that I can actually wear them. What more is there to say? This is my dream cozy autumnal outfit with a hint of witchiness. And I got so many compliments on this outfit the day that I wore it. Okay, this is just the base of the next one, but this is the first outfit that came to mind for me when I was conceptualizing this video. So I wanna walk you through my thought process. Obviously, first we have a long black dress. That's a, that's a witchy staple, it's a classic, it's canon. Then on top, I thought this blouse could be really cool because it will add some texture and some layering and it also looks very historical and that feels witchy to me. I love that I can close this to create shape, but still leave it open enough that it's clearly a dress underneath, not just a top and a skirt. And then on top of this, I was thinking this coat could be amazing. And it has all this like shiny detailed sparkly embroidery and shiny sparkly things also feel witchy to me. This is great. I love this. Now for shoes, listen, I could add the orange boots to every single outfit, but I feel like we need to switch it up. So I'm just gonna go with these black ones. And then to add in just a little more detail and color and texture, I'm gonna add this necklace. I also added these cicada earrings cause you know, bugs feel sort of subtly creepy and witchy. Okay, I feel great in this. This feels like sort of a modern chic avant-garde witch. Like she's a witch, but she's also like, a museum curator. I love this. I have no more to say. My vision came to life perfectly. What can I say? I'm a, I'm a genius. <laughs> okay, next we're going much more kitschy and fun and full on Halloween-y because how could I not include this Halloween shirt in this video? I found this vintage Karen Scott button up at the thrift store at the beginning of the month. And I really don't usually go for like novelty holiday clothing items because the time span of wear feels so limited, but Something about this was just really calling to me. It was $4, it's super comfortable. And it's actually been really fun trying to come up with like lots of different ways to style it and wear it before the season is over. I even made a little TikTok and everything. So right now I'm gonna do another outfit with it. We're gonna layer this under a dress. Okay, it's actually overalls, but come on, how cute is this? Then for shoes, I feel like we gotta bring back the orange boots, right? They're just too perfect. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's great. I also like how this sort of sleek, sharp fitted shoe balances out these slightly more baggy pieces on top. This is good for a slightly warmer fall day, but if it were cooler out, I mean, obviously I would add tights, but then I would also add a leather jacket like this one. Oh yeah, this is kind of giving me Buffy vibes, even though I don't think Buffy would actually wear like a kitschy Halloween shirt like this. She would wear these boots and a mini skirt and like a leather jacket. And I feel like maybe Willow from Buffy would wear the Halloween shirt and Willow from Buffy would also totally wear this hat. Oh my gosh, 
This is so cute. I feel like we're leaning a little away from witchy and more just like cozy 90s autumnal, but I also feel like 90s fall fashion and witchy fashion just go hand in hand. I love how this is just a little accent piece, but I feel like it's still doing so much to bring a cute cozy autumnal vibe to the outfit. How cute. Okay, this is just the starting base for the next look, but for this outfit, I'm gonna try to create like the most whimsy goth look I possibly can with my wardrobe. I feel like that's like the witchiest style out there. And if you don't know what it is, I made a whole video about it. So you can go watch it right there. This velvet dress, extremely whimsy goth. And then on top, I'm going to add this faux suede overcoat. I feel like suede or leather is also very whimsy goth the vibes. Really anything super textural, especially if it's a more earthy or natural texture. Long flowing layers like this also feel very whimsy goth to me. How many times can I say that word in this outfit? I also have this little faux fur collar that I thrifted to attach to this jacket in the winter time and it works great, but I'm just gonna like lay it on top. Just pretend it's attached for now. Okay, because I feel like this added texture just adds to the vibe even more. Next, let's add some boots. I'll go with the black ones again, just to, you know, get some variation in. And then I'm also about to add a scarf. So I'm gonna put my hair up first. Claw clip, very 90s very whimsy goth. Okay, now we gotta add the scarf. This one is so fun. It has so many incredible vibrant jewel tones. Oh, this is everything to me. I love this. For our final touch, obviously I have to add these moon earrings again. Perfect. Okay, I gotta say, I feel like I have absolutely nailed the whimsy gothic look here. Slightly more on the whimsy end, but I think it definitely still falls squarely within this style. And I feel amazing in this outfit. This is so fun and whimsical. I feel so cute, so autumnal. This is basically a guide to create the perfect whimsy goth outfit. A long flowy silhouette, a lot of rich texture, dark jewel tones, a long scarf, some 90s touches, and a celestial motif. That's the formula. We did it. Someone make that into like a TikTok audio that then people can make their own outfits too. I think that would be fun. Okay, despite everything I just said, I do think a whimsy goth style can actually come in many forms. And I feel like another version that's more slim fitted, short lengths, cute and casual, less like big and dramatic and flowy is also super common. It's sort of the teen girl movie or TV protagonist version. So that's what I'm gonna try with this outfit. All right, we've got this mini skirt and this little top to start. These both feel quite 90s, 2000s-y to me. Maybe more 2000s, but like the segmentation of time is an illusion. It's close enough. I also went with my loafers just for a more youthful, casual option to switch up the shoes. But then what's gonna take it in that dark, witchy, whimsy goth direction is this little velvet... Oh no, I thought I had my arm in the sleeve, but I didn't. This little velvet lace trim tie front cardigan thingy. Instant transformation. Look at that. I can't decide if I think it's fun how it frames this keyhole or if it's kind of weird, but I, I think I'm gonna go with fun. For another like antique -y, witchy touch, I'm gonna add these earrings. I also like how the color of this sort of is in conversation with the colors here. I think that's it. We did it. This is more of a, you know, casual, chill, everyday take. So I feel like it doesn't need anything else, but it still has that 90s, slightly witchy, whimsy goth vibe. We've still got those hints of the texture, the dimension, the jewel tones, the dark overall palette. Very teen girl protagonist who's also a witch or has some connection to the occult. Is this video just an excuse for me to use every single ornately patterned shiny purple thing in my closet? I don't know, would that be so wrong? I do have to admit, um, I was just trying to come up with outfits for this video and all three of these pieces came to mind as items I would like to use and haven't used yet. And then I thought, what if I just put them all together? I was thinking of outfits for this last night and honestly, I did not know if this one was gonna work out for me in real life. It's kind of a lot, but I am actually kind of in love with it. That said, you know, I love a pattern mixing moment, but I usually do like having some solid somewhere to like subdue everything. So I'm gonna add this long line black denim. It's like a button up dress, but I usually use it as a jacket. Oh my God, I'm so into this. I love this. Obviously, I also went with my silver shoes just cause this is another thing I thought would make sense in this video and I hadn't used them yet. I feel like they go great with this shiny, magical patterned look. And then for jewelry, I think I'm gonna do these little adorable black cat earrings. How cute are these? What a great little subtly witchy yet friendly and whimsical touch. My charm necklace. I think this is the completed look. I feel so cool in this. I love that this feels so witchy and magical, but in kind of an unexpected way, 
maybe just because of the pants and the sort of androgynous nature of the whole outfit. I feel like witchy fashion is usually associated with skirts and dresses, but like what could be witchier than these pants? You know what I'm saying? Can you imagine this outfit, but then with a black witch's hat for Halloween? This would be so good. I have to admit something to you all. I love a costume. I love dressing up. I love a theme, obviously, but I have no Halloween costume for this year and I don't even really have ideas. Maybe I'll end up wearing one of these outfits from this video and go thrift a witch hat and call it a day. That would be kind of cool, actually. I don't know, tell me your costumes in the comments because A, maybe I'll get some ideas, but B, I just like to hear about it. I think it's fun. Okay, here's the starting base for this next outfit. It's a patchwork dress I made myself. The colors are sort of dark and earthy and we've got the purple in there, so that's witchy. I also feel like patchwork and anything textile handcrafted is also witchy vibes to me. I don't know why that is, but we're gonna continue with that theme and add this sweater, which I embroidered myself. Plus it has an eyeball and a, a snake on it. So that's pretty witchy. Okay, this is very cute, but this color palette does feel a little too light to be witchy. So I wanna add like a darker jewel tone and I feel like this green jacket might actually work well. Okay, you know what? I thought I was gonna love this, but I, I actually hate it. <laughs> it's not working with the silhouette at all. So I'm gonna go find a different jacket. Actually, first let's add a few more accessories in case there is no jacket that works with this. The next piece I wanna add is this little mismatched beaded necklace I also made myself. I'm imagining, you know, the fantasy witch character in my brain that's wearing this is like, she has this cozy little cottage or cabin where she like sews and embroiders and makes jewelry. Basically it's my ideal life, but if I were a witch and she's also like making potions. For shoes, we could do, of course, the orange boots. My shoes are right off screen over here. We could do these again, of course, they're amazing, they're iconic, but I do feel like to bring a bit more darkness into the look, the black might be better. All right, I like that. I'm gonna keep, keep rolling with it. Now I wanna go get my little tote bag. I also sewed myself. That's sort of the theme of this outfit. Great, adorable, I love it. You know what? I don't think this needs a jacket. Maybe a hair bandana. That always adds a little more of a rustic witchy vibe and it has that sort of crafty DIY vibe. Okay. I think that's perfect. Again, I'm just like propping this, setting it kind of on top of my head, but just pretend it's like actually tied headband bandana style. I'm a crafty little witch who lives in a cabin in the woods, like Ursula from Kiki's Delivery Service. And I'm about to make a little trip into town to stock up on yarn. Amazing vibes. I've been having so much fun with the outfits in this video, but I realize they are not all that replicable. A lot of them include DIYs, lucky thrift finds and vintage and that sort of thing, which is still, you know, super fun for me and I hope it's inspiring to you. But for the last outfit, I really wanna give you something replicable that I think most people could recreate to some degree in their wardrobe. So the base of the outfit is just a long skirt and a frilly blousey top. I went with plain black and white because I think these are super common, but you know, a black blouse, a pattern skirt, whatever version of this is in your wardrobe. Then on top, you know, we need some texture dimension, some cozy layering. So you could add a cardigan, a jacket, or even both. I'm gonna do both. And I just chose pieces in sort of muted, darker, earthier tones because I think that's witchy, but it's also not super specific. Colors like tan or green are pretty easy to find. I also love that this jacket has some pattern in it. You could also incorporate some pattern with the skirt or the blouse or the cardigan. I just went with this because I wanted to give this jacket another chance in this video. Of course, for shoes, we're doing black boots again. You could also do like a simple black ankle boot. I feel like that's something a lot of people have in their closet. And there you go. This feels like very casual and wearable, but also definitely a bit autumnal and witchy. Then for a final touch that I think looks super styled and super unique, but I also think almost anyone can do, we're gonna add two belts. I have one with a silver buckle and one with a gold buckle, but I'm, I'm fine with that. Let's try it out. Okay, do I think this would work better if both of the buckles were gold? Yes, but do I still think it works and looks really cool and like intentional and stylized with stuff I already have around? Yes, and that's the point. I think this is so fun. There you have it, an easy, replicable, yet unique and distinctly witchy outfit. I really like this and I hope if any of you do recreate this or recreate any of my outfits, you like send me a picture or tag me on Instagram because I love to see it. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Hold on, I'm actually kind of hot in this one second. I feel like you can really see how like sweaty and disheveled I am now that I'm up close here chatting with you. Regardless, 
I hope you had fun. If you enjoyed the style in this video, I have two more videos of witchy outfits, plus one all about the whimsy goth style, plus one doing outfits inspired by characters from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So I will link a playlist of all of those sort of witchy adjacent videos right here. They're kind of old and I haven't rewatched them recently. So I don't know if they're good, but there they are. Oh, and I heard if you leave a comment, watch another video like one of these right here and subscribe to the channel, you might wake up on Halloween Eve and discover you have some new magical powers. Woo Happy Halloween.